Hello, G Mama. So here I am to talk about a few things that you should do and you shouldn't do when you find out that you got pregnant. Last video, uh, in the end, I was explaining that after I found out I was so happy that I was pregnant, I went to do my blood test and to confirm that it wasn't a false positive that can happen uh, I wanted to make sure that wasn't the case and I went straight away to do my blood test uh, which in Australia you need a referral uh, to do a blood test or any kind of test as far as I'm concerned so you need to go to a GP and get a referral and that was when the scariest things started because I was you know if you are over the age of 35 you probably already heard of or seen or you know or read so much information that it's kind of negative towards uh, our age and for me I had no idea that a blood test wasn't conclusive I thought that was the most certain thing that could possibly have right but anyway I went to this doctor and she was actually a woman doctor and I as soon as I said I you know I got my test result today my my pharmacy results today and I, and she asked me when I was supposed to get my period and I said today I said ah oh, it's too early and uh, how old are you I'm 35 oh 35 and all that she said was without one smile without one congratulations without any positive at all it was only like it is too early you you're too old it happens and people have miscarriage very commonly she was saying all the risks that i i should expect and and i was like okay you're a doctor you have to tell me um you know you should tell me and warn me for things i don't want to be blindfolded during this process and and something happened to me and not be prepared for it that's fair enough please also tell me some good things right so the first thing i would say is try not to visit any random doctor because you may feel uncomfortable with them which was what happened to me. I didn't know her, she didn't know me. It's been six months that this happened, so I don't actually remember everything that she said, but don't visit anyone, you know, it's doctor just because you want a, a, a quick information, because if you are my age and or older, and you've been, especially if you wanted to have a baby your whole life, which wasn't the case for me, but it still was a quite special moment. I wanted happy, thoughts and and that wasn't the case with this particular doctor so you want yes someone that is experienced and tell you what you expect but you also want a doctor that will congratulate you and make you feel good there is already enough information out there to make you feel uncomfortable well, another thing that i would say i don't don't listen to negative people even if they are your physician like I said, there are a lot of possibilities that are negative and especially after the age of 35, but there are also excellent cases, even 50 year old women having healthy babies and healthy pregnancies. And there are just as much good cases and positive situations and stories than there are scary stories. And even in any age, really, if you really dig for negative, you will find negative. So make sure that you also look for great stories i'm sure you have lots of friends that had babies after the age of 35 look for positive look for that because it will take a time until you get your result your exam back and it could be from 24 hours to even three days so if you're stressed for two three days there's a big you know hormonal change that you will put in your body is toxic and you don't want to especially in the first trimester you don't want to do that to your body so don't do that try to uh do your pregnancy tests when you were at least three days late i know this <laughs> i couldn't do it because i wanted to do my tests on the day i missed my period or the day that uh, my period was supposed to arrive and i even done a few tests there was five three days even before my my period supposed to arrive because you can do even six days before the period arrive and i have done that so but i would recommend that you do the test um the pharmacy test if you if you miss your period at least let's say one two days because the pharmacy exam will be even more accurate yeah 
Um, and if you cannot let, wait, like me, uh, consider doing a second or third uh, pharmacy test the next day. Okay, so if you do the first day, maybe the next day, usually the package is coming with three anyway. So do that, do, do a first test, maybe a digital one, do the first digital one. And if it's yes, it's really highly likely that you are. But then the next day, do another test uh, of the kit and then maybe wait another day and do another test of that kit because then it will be more reliable. My experience with this doctor, after the blood test came, she told me she would call me and she didn't do that. So I was anxious and I wanted to know the, the, the result. I call her and she say, oh, she told the receptionist to tell me to come to the clinic because she needed to tell me something. And I was like, oh, shit, you know, like if it's something good, she would be able to just say, yes, you are pregnant. But no. I was like, oh, I'm sure something happened, something happened, especially after the first consultation with her. I went straight there the same day and, and, I, and I talked to her. When I arrived in the clinic, she, was, she went out to call me and she was like, oh, come in. I was like, oh my God, okay, I need to go inside the, 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 the room for her to give me the news, so good thing cannot be. <laughs> and then at the end of the day, she told me, okay, your, your exam... Is positive but because it's only three weeks you don't have enough um, you don't, uh, HCG which is the the hormone of pregnancy that increases as you are more and more weeks uh, and then she say okay but you will need to do another test because you may not be pregnant it may be just in, uh, a little increase and so you I will recommend that you do another test in between now and seven or ten days to see if this hormone has double or triple and that was a surprise for me and it may be to you so I want to tell you that I never heard that a blood test could be low it could be like oh, we're not sure if you're pregnant if, if a pharmacy test can say yes how can a blood test say maybe so for me it was a big surprise and on top of the way she gave me the news I was extremely stressed and wait for two days was difficult imagine waiting for seven so I was talking to some friends and actually a couple of them had the same situation because they found out really early they were expecting they were trying for a while so they didn't want to wait until a month <laughs> uh, to, to do the the blood test so they just really did really early and and the the results of the HC, uh, C, HCG came low, but low is still in the table of the three to four weeks. But anyway, during the period that you are waiting, if you have to wait for a second result or if anything that's concerning you, don't do Google. Because if you're already anxious, you are probably already inclined to Google for search terms that are negative you know um, and it will Google will tend to fulfill that wish that you are searching searching for you know whatever you are looking for you will find and you usually will find in a negative way and it will give you even more stress even more anxiety that will not help you or the baby you carry just relax if you have to do another test no I'm here to tell you that many people had to do it so another thing that you should do is to find some friend that can refer you to a good doctor and then book an appointment with this doctor and go. I found friends that could refer me to this good doctor and I went there to see her and you know it was really good and she was great you know one hour consultation she told me everything there was no negatives you know she was from the very moment that she got I got there to get the results of the exam. She said, yep, yeah, the exam came well, you're good. And I started planning my, my whole pregnancy and how it would, what would the next step be in terms of nutrition, in terms of exercise, in terms of the baby, my weight, my health, my good things, you know. So that's what you want. You want to be surrounded by friends and members of the, your family and, and doctors and anyone that you can surround yourself with that are positive people. So another thing I would um, recommend you to do is in Australia we have a thing called yellow card. So from the moment that you are 
confirmed pregnant, you will receive a, a, a big card. So it's not a little card, it's a big card with all the information that about your pregnancy, about your health, your blood um, type, and your phone, the doctor's phone, and the name of your doctor, everything that you need to, to be able to carry. So don't forget your antenatal card. Okay, so in different countries, maybe different, um, maybe be small or big, but take a photo. In my case, I scan and I leave it in a, in a, in a folder on my phone that says pregnancy. And the only reason I do that is because sometimes I go out for a walk and I'm not carrying a big, but because it's an A4, in Australia it's an A4 card, it's a big card and it's a thick paper. So it's not something you're going on a party and you're carrying a small bag, you don't want to carry that, but you should carry that information with you every, every time you go out. So the good way to do it is to carry this information with you on a scan or take a picture. So in case anything happened to you, on the street to fall or you faint or something um, an ambulance can come and or anyone can actually see your information that you're pregnant how many weeks and if you have any special considerations and then uh, go from there so don't forget your medical card your antenatal record card so things to do stop smoking even socially I never smoke, so I don't have this problem. Uh, any alcohol, kind of stop, try to. If you can, try to stop caffeine too. Definitely don't have more than the recommended amount per day, which is I think is 200 milligrams per day. Yeah, so think about that. If you cannot consider yourself stopping smoking and drinking now, imagine if you find yourself pregnant tomorrow. So the earlier you can do before you get pregnant, better for you but if you didn't then that day that you found out please stop and tell your doctor and then the doctor can recommend what you have to do from that so yeah and try to be less stressed during this process especially the first trimester which is the most sensitive one for the baby and for you try to be calm and relaxed as much as possible in a healthy way um, and I will make another another video about what to implement once you find out that you are pregnant so you have the most successful pregnancy and uh, for you to be happy healthy and happy as well all right so see you in the next one thanks for watching subscribe like and share with other G mamas bye